Hello and welcome to Stories with Miss Heald. Today's book is Twitch by M.G. Leonard. This book has been given to me by the reader at Calderstones Park in Liverpool and the books are provided by Cheltenham Festivals. I'll read you the blurb from the back. Twitch has three pet chickens, four pigeons, swallows nesting in his bedroom and a passion for bird watching. On the first day of the summer holidays, he arrives at his secret hideout to find police everywhere. A convicted robber has broken out of prison and is hiding in Ava's wood. Can Twitch use his talents for bird watching in the hunt for the dangerous prisoner and find the missing loot? Let's find out. Chapter one, Rock Dove. Kill it! Twitch stopped dead on the path to the main school building, ignoring the spots of rain landing on his cheeks. He listened. Go on, do it. The feverish voice belonged to Jack Cappelman, a charismatic boy with caramel-coloured hair who'd moved to Bridvale a few months ago. From the moment he'd sloped into school with his city boy manner, everyone had danced to Jack's tune, following him like the Pied Piper's rats. My dad says, if you crush a pigeon, its eyes will pop out, said a deep voice that could only belong to Vernon Boone. Vernon was the size of a grown-up and as sensitive as a sandbag. Outside school, he always wore wellies and his dad ran the local abattoir. Vernon rarely spoke to Twitch, although he shoved him on a daily basis, laughing if he stumbled or fell. Twitch heard a chorus of, Ew! Let's see. Do it! And I can't look. Bending down, he picked up a flint from the barren flower bed that ran alongside the chemistry block and slipped the stone into his blazer pocket. Peering around at where the silver bus dustbins were kept, he saw four boys crowded around something on the ground. Terry Vallis, a skinny boy with dark curly hair and braces, was babbling, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, it's the eye-popping thing. It's making me feel sick. I'm not going to puke or anything, but... Jack started to chant. Do it, do it, do it. Do what? Twitch asked loudly. The boys were startled by his voice. Azuru, you're supposed to be keeping watch, Jack scolded the short boy who was standing at the edge of the group. Azura Sawa shrugged and looked away. <coughs> Twitch recognised the alarmed calls of a bird, saw the brick that Vernon had clutched in his fist and folded his arms to try and contain the anger that blazed in his chest. You're going to kill a rock dove? No, Vernon sniffed. Gonna kill a pigeon. A pigeon is descended from a rock dove. Twitch glared at the boys through his brackish blonde fringe. He was a bit taller than Azuru and stronger than Terry, but the odds of surviving a punch-up with either Jack or Vernon were slim and he had no chance against all four of them. That bird has as much right to live as you do. It's vermin. A mean smile twisted Jack's face and he stepped forward. We're performing a public service by exterminating it. It isn't. Twitch's forehead throbbed as Vernon's fist tightened around his brick and the terrified bird kept calling. He blinked furiously, trying to calm down. Are you going to stop us? Jack made a show of looking past Twitch. On your own? The three boys gathered behind Jack, who was blinking theatrically, mimicking Twitch's nervous habit. Tell me, bird brain. What's it like being such a loser that your only friends have feathers? Yeah, feathers. <laughs> the others echoed. Jack called out to the pigeon. Hey, birdie, don't worry. Your best bud here is going to save you. He mimed, counting the boys. Oh, wait, there's only one of him and four of us. He pulled a mock sad face and the other boys laughed. Jack grabbed the brick from Vernon, raising it as if to strike the bird. No! Twitch lurched forward, driving his hand into his pocket, grasping the flint and hurling it hard. 
the stone sailed through the air, hitting Jack on the side of the head. Jack cried out, dropping the brick and clutching his hand to his temple. The brick landed on Vernon's foot. He roared, hope hopping about as Twitch ran headfirst into Terry's stomach. Terry fell over with a yelp. Twitch felt Vernon grab him around the middle and whirl him away. He saw Azuru staring at him with a stunned look on his face. I'm bleeding, Jack cried, staring at the red smudge on his hand. Twitch felt a flash of satisfaction, but it was cut short by Vernon throwing him backwards. He slammed into the bins. As he hit the ground, all the air was walloped out of his lungs. His eyes snapped wide as he desperately tried and failed to breathe in. He felt the fire of a kick to his ribs and saw Azuru standing over him. I'm going to need stitches, Jack cursed as a trickle of blood ran down the side of his face. I think my toe's broken, Vernon remarked, apparently unbothered. You'll regret this, Twitch, Jack barked, marching away, shouting over his shoulder. This isn't over. He was bent double and his arms wrapped around his stomach. As Azuru helped Terry to his feet. As Azura and Terry stumbled after Jack, Vernon grinned and Twitch flinched, thinking he was going to punch him, but instead he snorted and lumbered after the others. Twitch lay still, waiting for his breath to return. His ribs were sore, but it was nothing he hadn't felt a hundred times. The main thing was the bird was alive. Getting to his knees, he crawled towards the panicked cooing, Tucking his fringe behind his ear, he saw an unhappy rock dove trapped between the brick wall of the chemistry lab and the side of a silver bin. The pigeon's head jerked back, emerald bib shimmering, its orange eyes staring out of the puffed up ball of storm cloud grey. The bird had one healthy foot, but the other leg ended in a stump of gristle and one of its ashen wings was injured, feathers ragged. What did they do to you, eh? Twitch whispered as a tremor of emotion shook his body. You're scared half to death. He slid off his rock sock and blazer, pulling his jumper off over his head and laying it on his knees. He inched towards the bird. Then, in a swift move, he tenderly cupped his hands around it, lifting it onto the jumper. There you go, he cooed as he pulled up the sides of the sweater to make a dark cocoon for the frightened pigeon. Rising to his feet, Twitch cradled the bundle of bird with one arm. He peered over the top of the open bin. There was a stack of flattened cardboard boxes inside. He took one and put it on the ground, folding in the flats and building the box with his spare hand. Then he lowered his bundle into it, peeling back the jumper. Lunchtime was nearly over, but Twitch couldn't leave the bird behind the chemistry block. Jack and his gang would be back and this time they would kill it. If he took the bird home, he'd never get back in time for afternoon registration. He wondered if there was anywhere in the school that he could hide it until the end of the day. But he couldn't think of anywhere. Well, you're not safe here, he said to the distressed bird. <coughs> the pigeon replied. Twitch stuffed his blazer into his rucksack, no longer aware of his bruised ribs or the falling rain. He knew he'd be in trouble but some things were more important than double P.E. Picking up the box carefully, he walked out of the school gates and headed for home. And that's chapter one. So we'll record chapter two shortly. You should be able to see it soon. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.